well, uh, my opponent, Anthony, has proposed two ideas. Well, A, uh, the law does not function properly because people do not see the reason to punish someone so severely for the crime that it's not as severe uh, as the uh, punishment dictates. Uh, B, he also says that people are forced to do a crime whether or not, uh, whether or not minor or serious. And his third point was that in other states, um, certain uh, states that don't have the law, crime, crime rates aren't as, uh, crime, violent crime rates aren't as high. Well, to address his first reason that uh, the, uh, the system doesn't uh, the system doesn't work, it's the problem isn't with the law. The problem is with how people are informed about how the law works. If people understand that the law works to try to deter people by ma uh, making examples of each, uh, each case, it would make more sense to put certain people, I guess in a sense, into prison if they did a minor crime. Say they steal a pair of golf clubs, although the, the value or the damage done isn't that high, the criminal had the intent to break the law. Um, the second, uh, back to the second point, where um, the, the uh, offender has no choice to commit a crime, that is not the law's fault, that is the person's choice. That, is, that, is not, that doesn't mean anything about the law. It just means people need to make better choices. Um, his third point, uh, other states have lower violent crime rates, other states have different laws. Uh, where they don't have the three strikes law passed, we don't know. We don't know why. There are too many variables. There could be multiple reasons why. There might be just less people. So the statistics the might be skewed. Um, there might be better enforcement there or something. I don't know. There's just many variables. We, uh, variables that could deter people from doing crime. That addresses all three of the points. So.